This mighty orc warlord once led an invasion that almost wiped out the empire. Find out who it is coming up next. Hello once again, Warhammer fans and Middlehammer Warhammer fans. Welcome back to another great unboxing video where today we are going to be looking at one of the great orc chieftains of all time. He was able not only to lead orcs in battle, but also to use goblins as his shield and to use wolf riders on his flank to attack. Now, of course, we are talking about Gorbad Ironclaw. And today we're going to be taking a look at that model kit from the Games Workshop. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Today we look at the mighty Goreband Ironclaw, another one of the limited edition model kits that came out from Games Workshop in the Legacy series. Now I did buy this model kit through Games Workshop a while ago, as it was part of an ending line known as the Legacy series. And again, we get the typical Citadel Warhammer Age of Sigmar and 40k white box, which doesn't really show you much of anything. The original Goreband Iron Claw box looked much like this. As you can see inside the box, you get the bubble packaging with an oval base, and there should be a square one underneath here. And Goreband is actually one of these Citadel Finecast models molded in resin with a lot of strings and everything off the side, which you need to clip in order to get rid of. Now, Goreband Ironclaw has four parts sprues included in the kit. Actually, five if you want to separate this one. Call either of those a separate parts tree. Here we have Narla, the gigantic war boar of prodigious size, might, and inf inflatulence, actually and Morglor the Mangler, which is, of course, the gigantic magical axe that Gorband Ironclaw always wielded. Now the first parts tree consists of Narlar, as well as the base and Gorband's metal fist here, which of course is pointing, his gauntlet, I should say. If you turn it over, you can see the base, which of course had the big boar almost leaping off it. And there is our boar there. Of course, he's double-sided. So you'll have to kind of make sure this is nice and flat in order to accept the other piece. Again, there'll be a lot of sprue clipping off of here from all the little branches. The resin is okay to work with. You will need crazy glue. Would be preferred if he was white metal like originally. But, you know, the resin isn't too bad on this one. You can see part of Gorban's legs in here and uh, many other great details. And here we have more of Narlar's body as well as Gorfang's face and his body. Again, these are very early molds by Games Workshop, but the detail in these is pretty high and they do look very nice. One sort of nice thing about the resin is it will be lighter than the metal, which of course will give it a little more um, stay together power, I guess. Although I'm not too sure if anybody that built these in white metal actually had one fall apart. Here we have Gorban's mighty shield and spears and a bit of the tusks that go into his helmet as well as I do believe the uh, hoof of the mighty boar. And then looking on the back you can see all the detail like the hands and the skulls, the nice wood grain in there, the ropes and of course the spearheads. A bit of flash again from the uh, resin. But overall this will go on and look really nice once you get it all cleaned up. And our final parts tree consists of Morglor the Mangler, which of course is the Mighty Axe, and the Tusk, as well as one of the chains here. And again, you can see that nice detail on there. There is the Orc Skull on the top of the blade. The hand looks great. The wrappings are excellent. Mighty Axe, not to be uh, toyed with. And again, on the horn here, we got the metal brace as well as the nice detailing on the chain, very much like one of the Aurora model kits for like Bride of Frankenstein or something like that. Again, excellent detail on these great components. And that completes our look at Gorbad Ironclaw, the mightiest orc of all time. Now, if you've built Gorbad Ironclaw on Narla in the past, please let us know down in the comment section below also, you can share your pictures of him on our Facebook page, and I'll leave the link for that in the description box. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed this great video where we got to take a look at Gorbad Iron Claw. And here he is on the cover of the 7th edition Orcs and Goblins book, Army book, who bought a Games Workshop from back in the day. Now, if you like these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And don't forget to check out our available models at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, everyone, happy slaughtering.